टू players from Vidarbha who played for Punjab Kings one that played for Lucknow Super Giants so three in all that were playing today and since Gargi is uh, from Nagpur which is part of Vidarbha yes uh, she is going to tell us a little bit about her three uh, fellow cricketers from the same state so one by one let's take a look at uh, who's the man of the match yash i think yash thakur i yes, guess will would be, be right will be no four wickets i think or i mean out of these three hmm he's your star i know yeah. atarve also got runs but someone in a game where uh, you know close mm. to 450 runs more than 450 mm. runs have been scored a guy who picks up four wickets did uh, yash pick up four wickets today he did yes yash he did so a uh, four wickets a guy his, who picks up four wickets in his debut match in his debut match so tell us a bit about him what was he like he was a very uh, quiet kind of person not very you know out loud or something he's always been um, someone who works very hard he had a few very struggling years where he was struggling with his health and that's why he he was out of the team but he's been a brilliant brilliant bowler ever since he started playing he belongs not from uh, nagpur he belongs from amravati uh-huh. uh, he's come come to nagpur to play cricket and amravati is a very little town and he's made his way to the ipl now and he's performed so well but uh, when we talk about yash thakur he's played for india under 19 is uh, he superstitious is he religious yes i saw him wear this one long that religious he must be i mean uh, we never had that conversation but i think yeah, so no, sometimes you know some people are more superstitious religious Haan. than others right like he seems like he was wearing this one long i could you know when he was hmm. bowling you could see it could come out okay you remember sorogang no sorogang used to have some 10 15 different <laughs> <laughs> you know stones uh, stones and tabis and various other anyone who must be giving him like something to you He'll know uh, he would wear it for good luck of course so it's quite a popularity i would no, no 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 popularity no, so only believe in gold gold, gold. His was like that black thread me kuch hai, gold chain me kuch hai. Ah. You know, like suppose he, he went to one temple, mm. something he got. He would just put it. But there used to be plenty around his neck. Azhar Din had one. Azhar Din had just one, one tabi. Yeah, they but say Dada used to have a lot. Mm. Mm. Even though they say that in that uh, sort of crop of players, I think it was Lakshman though who was the most religious of them. No, no, no. This no, not not really. They all like like Sachin's uh, coffin. Yeah. I remember used to have like all got pictures inside. So, why? Well, because you know, again, in sport where. Uh, you know luck plays a major role where you are you're so superstitious as in wearing the left pad first and things like that yeah. then obviously you're going to believe in the the divine powers so yeah. anything that will help you score runs or get wickets you'll believe in it so i'm so mad about superstitions i'm not a superstitious person because superstitions never worked for me hmm. whenever i thought okay this this is something that is working for me it would fail But you, so you are nothing like you know. No. F- first, put on the left glove. Nothing. Then, nothing. You know, three taps. When I go to bat. Oh no! I used to do the three. I uh, mean, like whenever I go to talk to my partner, my uh, batting partner. Non striker. Huh? Ha, non striker. I punch them three times, like a fist, a fist bump three times. That's oh. something I picked up from someone else, but I still do it. Okay. The one where the bail they do tap tap tap. Chandra Paul yeah. used to do that. Chandra was it superstition? I do that. No, that's no. not superstition. No, no, just for guard that he used to do. Mark it's the guard. It's to ha. Yeah. Because, because if you do it with your bat, like this, I also do it. Hmm. Because uh, when I do it with my uh, bat, then it gets removed because someone else is taking a different yeah. guard. It just yeah. gets up, and then you have to ask again. I don't like doing hmm. it. So there's one time just. Did you do the bail as well? Yeah. And uh-huh. then sometimes uh-huh. once it's there, then I I know. Ha. Huh. It's much uh, more oh. like. Some places effective than your spikes or something. Correct, correct. Anyway, I mean we don't wear spikes; hmm. we wear rubbers because okay. your pitches then they go bad if you're wearing spikes. Yeah, so they right. don't encourage. And there are multiple matches right on yeah. the pitch. But the uh, the one problem with that is at least what I've encountered: certain pitches are so hard that you can't really dig it in. It's so hard the pitch. And it's embarrassing. No, no, it's not embarrassing. <laughs> you can't because they're blunt at the end of the day. Right. right? You need to have a soft sort of a pitch hmm. for it to go in. If it's a sharp object, then no matter how hard you'd be able to dig it, but because they're blunt. they need to be uh, these are not a great example the the ones that are yeah, uh, played in the, the match you know are more mm-hmm. blunt that just won't go if it's a very hard pitch yeah. just thinking with the zing bales would chandra ball would have been able to do this no won't, won't no way no. it would have been fine you can't it would have been allowed yeah, okay. yeah. 
Okay, yeah. getting back to Yash Thakur is done. The other two uh, Vidarbha boys that have done well, Atharva Thayde, okay. uh, did very well. Atharva Thayde, left-handed batter, of course. He's uh, also... Sorry, before huh. you go, again, one of the players we were discussing, huh, that he needs to <laughs> get going, get runs, Not like Stoyness. <laughs> no, no, we. Yeah. Stoyness. And so, I think all of them got the memo. Huh, that, I uh, think that uh, uh, position change really helped him. Uh, yes. Batting at three? Yeah. yeah. Second match or the third match now? Th uh, two matches he didn't perform. Perform. Third ah, one he exactly, was. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's really worked. Anyway, yeah. more on him. Yes. So, a left-handed batter who's, who also hails from Amravati. Mind you, these Yash... Uh, Atharva Darshan, who's also in Punjab Kings, but yeah. he's not playing. playing. They're they're all childhood friends. Ah. They've basically grown up Nalkande. together. What is it? Darshan, Darshan Nalkande. Nalkande. They live yeah. in the same house. They, well, same house? Yeah. As in, in Nagpur. Flat. Achai, in, in Nagpur in the, in the same flat. Ah, okay. Yeah. As in not not so from Amravati. Like no, no. Very good friends, all of them, even Jitesh. So. They're climbing the ladder together somehow. I think yeah, that's no, no. great uh, for them. It was them. fantastic batting. Because I believe he has some record in the under-19 level, mm -hmm. right? He smashed a triple hundred or something? Or? Yes. Uh, twice. Not triple hundred. Huh. He's, uh, he's had a double hundred twice. Ah. Also, he has uh, a record for scoring the fastest, second fastest hundred in international under-19. Wow. Okay. Wow, it does show, and and it does show why also Kings Eleven uh, or Punjab Kings uh, persisted with him, mm. got him, and then gave him that chance. See, because it, it's a batting order with so many stars for right. him to get a chance. I mean, there were a few eyebrows that were raised, but clearly he comes with that pedigree. He is known to be that guy who can, you know, really up the strike rate. So, and he's mm. living up to that right now. Okay, the third one, Jitesh. Jitesh Sharma. I don't think he needs a lot of introduction now. He's yeah. he's out no, in the open India, now. India, India yeah. guy now, but still tell us a little bit more about him as a person yes. shy guy he's mm. also from amravati oh my god yes <laughs> what all is in four the of them. water of amravati huh? all four of them are from amravati and jitesh um, is a very very intellectual person mm. also he's very funny uh, someone who's very outgoing loves to chat sit down and chat but i've learned a lot from jitesh he's told me very uh, good things and especially when he was in that phase where he wasn't doing so well in cricket and he was out of even the domestic circuit he was out for two years oh so uh, making a comeback at the age of 29 in in on a stage like this is like brilliant commendable the things that he's done and with jitesh it's all been mental uh, he talks about it openly also that he's made a lot of changes in his mental health and how he perceives the game and how he, um, the way he's worked on his confidence mainly. Okay. And there's this one thing that he, I think he does tell everyone, but something that I uh, remember very, very well is that he told me that uh, he never cuts, uh, sorry, he loves his hair. Mm -hmm. So for a year or two, he cut his hair completely, shaved it down. Oh, okay. So it's. it's like a dissociation that this is something I love but I won't have it just to keep myself mentally strong. Whoa! And uh, is it like uh, is it like uh, something that he must have promised himself that hey, if I end up doing well mm -hmm. and this is my you know whatever yeah uh, you know in Hindi we say tapasya I'm uh -huh. going to do once yes, I'm going yes, to yes, let yes. go something of this like that only. Uh, and then if I if I do well then I'm mm. going to allow myself the luxury yes. of having long hair. And the other second thing is... Is that what he was... Yeah. Oh, and the, very interesting. And the other thing is to challenge himself every single day. He, no matter how cold it gets or how hot it gets, he always takes a bath with very cold, chilly water. Oh my God. Yeah. But that he comes from, you know, that part of the country, that, that cold he can. Will he do it up north? Yeah, he still does it. it in, it's just in, something that he in does. In Chandigarh, he would do? He would do. No matter how cold? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, there are some people who just can't have a bath in hot water. You know, even my... No, but it's not about that, na. No. He wants to mm, challenge himself, like punish him. Huh? But it could also be Get. because, you know, they, top athletes do opt for that because it does it really get your blood circulation no, no, going. No, no, he's right. saying not but but anything to do with science. Nothing, no, this is just about challenging your body. Yes, it's all about no, the... All benefits then. Yeah, it's like some people is right that medically they mm. want yeah. cold water and and I do know some people that no matter how cold it is they will still be in a t-shirt they yeah. don't want it 
yeah. uh, to wear a jacket. I yeah. know that happens. But then there's a medical reason behind yeah. it. Hmm. Uh, that was uh, how I know is that was dissected and uh, multiple stories were done when Rahul Gandhi was sure. walking okay. without a jacket. Remember in a T-shirt. Yes, yes, yes. I saw a lot of articles which said that. Uh, you know, some people do not feel cold no matter mm. how cold it is. And I know somebody personally like that who does not, uh, he's a famous personality, if you've heard of someone called Cyrus Brocha. Yeah. Mm. So Cyrus, uh, no matter, so even if he's in Switzerland, he cannot, he won't wear a jacket. Ooh. He will be in his t-shirt. Wow. So uh, the problem with that is if you're sitting in the same room as him mm. and uh, it's cold. the AC will be like 12 degree or whatever like the least yeah. that AC can go to, it will be, like, be like freezing in the room. But you can't do anything because he wants it that cold and he'll be sitting in a t-shirt and you'd want like <laughs> jackets to wear. That's someone like me. Finally, someone like me. Yeah, but but uh, in winters, you still I still see you uh, wear woolen clothes. Yeah, I do because the wind that can kill you here, the wind. But uh, even then, I think I don't think he was putting on as many layers uh, like we were. Mm. Yeah, Otherwise, maybe less. Uh, maybe he yeah. has a bit more, uh, you know, resistance. Are to you it. also challenging yourself in some way? <laughs> no, I I generally don't feel that cold. Uh, That's so. So it's natural. To yeah, even my mama, I mean, he, anywhere, even if he's in Kashmir, he'll still have a bath in nice cold water. He some can't people, take hot water. <laughs> some people are like 